I will continue the video on with this part on the lathe and another video with this part on the lathe uh, using this aluminum foil thing that uh, and uh, I will try to show why the aluminum foil thing just doesn't doesn't cut it uh, it will work if it's all you have access to um, can't blame anybody for doing the best they can do um, but uh, I definitely want to at least back up my claims and uh, uh, try to let y'all know that I'm not trying to be argumentative sometimes when I, I make a suggestion or confront somebody else that's made a suggestion um, I'm simply trying to I, I believe that everybody has a right uh, to know the issues that you're going to run into using some of these um, old tricks. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. Uh, but anyway, thanks. <clears throat> I have got the Singer hand wheel uh, on the mandrel and the lathe. Um, I have got my 100 grit paper here that I will use dry. You got my 600 grit. I'll probably use that dry to begin with. I have 1000. Then I have 1500 grit here. Got my honing oil. I like to use honing oil because, well, it just does a good job. It does a good job. It's not necessary to use honing oil. The reason I'm putting it on that is because. Trying to do this with one hand uh, is going to be rough enough, so I'm going to have to dip my paper in it instead of just uh, being able to do this two-handed. So anyway, I'm going to start up the lathe here. It's going to be a little bit loud. I'll try to explain what I'm doing, uh, but here we go. First off, I'm going to use the 100 grit. See, it don't take long to start cutting dust flying. Removing the uh, surface rust that's on this on this wheel. I know it kind of looks dangerous, but it's not. Uh, or to keep your fingers out of the slot, you know. Um, it does get hot, which is what you want when you get to the point of poly actual polishing. Uh, you want to generate some heat. That in a minute right now. So what I'm doing is just cleaning it up. Cleaning it off, keeping the sandpaper off of the painted, off of the painted area. Uh, try to do this without hurting my paint. Clean this wheel up. This wheel can be used again. Uh, somebody's really nice to see. It's pretty close to about all I'm gonna do with a hundred grit. I believe yeah yeah so you're already getting a nice surface there all right what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my 600 grit and I am gonna go ahead since the way that looks I'm gonna go ahead and dip it in my oil I'm gonna get it all over me I'm gonna try to keep the camera away to where I don't get oil slinging all over the lens but here we go <laughs> Smaller 
scratches. grit paper for our rougher grit from the thousand grit paper I don't want to leave in this oil uh, when I go to to go to the finer one now so uh, I'll stop this for just a minute and I'll start back in a minute okay I'm back hadn't done anything in fact I can still see where I uh, rubbed on this just before I shut the video off I'm gonna turn it back on take a rag I'm gonna wipe off get a lot of this oil cleaned off a whole lot. I want to look and see what we got. Still have a few minor pits in this, which uh, basically all it means is uh, <clears throat> I could have worked longer with the uh, 100 grit paper. Um, I'm not going to, just for the sake of the length of this video and everything, what I'm going to do is go ahead and finish what I started here. Uh, right now I'm going to go with the uh, 1500 grit and honing oil and I'm going to start trying to get us a, a nice shine on this hand wheel now there again trying to do it without getting the paper on the painted part of the wheel uh, if you were going to paint the wheel it wouldn't matter uh, most of you though I'm sure you'll want to keep the original paint on the machines if you can I like doing it well, uh, I'm putting quite a bit of pressure on this because I want it to cut. I want to roll over, roll over the surface of the metal. Uh, basically, what I'm trying to do is trying to generate some heat with the oil and the paper. Cause the surface of the metal to roll over. Metal is just like anything else. It is porous. Has very tiny microscopic holes in it. If you can seal off those holes, you can prevent oxidation, rust, uh, discoloration from the acid and moisture in the air. Uh, believe it or not, there is acid in the air. Uh, every time you touch a wheel, you're going to leave acid off of your fingers on it. So, you do everything you can to get those pores closed up. And we'll call this about done here, as far as this part of it. I want to go ahead and take my rag. Try not to get it wrapped up in here and jerk it out of my hand. Again, doing this with one hand is kind of... that time I stopped it from turning. Oh, okay. See what I did. Hold on just a minute. 
I'm gonna stop and then I'll put the wheel back on. What happened is the wheel just kind of worked its way loose off of the mandrel. Um, I may do it again on me, I don't know. I have to stop and turn my mandrel down just a little bit.
anybody can get hurt <laughs> doing this at all. See it smoking because this gets pretty hot right here. <laughs> um, I don't know. I hope I, can, I hope you can see in the video what we got. We've got a very shiny hand wheel here, and uh, that pretty much concludes this part of the cleaning the hand wheel. The next part will be with the Minnesota, and uh, gonna do the other suggested trick with the aluminum foil and uh we're going to look at the differences of what we got so all right till next time i'm back i have put the minnesota hand wheel in the lathe you can tell uh let's see if i can get it to where you can see good here this is pitted the chrome plating or nickel plate i believe on the, is what's going to be on this it don't look like it's got copper under it so this will be uh, nickel plate um, not very good shape there is no way to fix this okay I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna give it to my best effort with this suggestion with tin foil and water uh, I know what it does it deposits a layer of aluminum and here we have our foil go ahead and get it wet I really don't like doing this on my lathe because I don't like water around my lathe. But we're going to go ahead and do this. That black is kind of what we're have, what we're going to see with the same uh, with the uh, uh, with the steel to this black where it's shredding up this aluminum. What we're doing is we're depositing small microscopic pieces of aluminum in the pores on that uh, pit on that wheel. It gets 
really hot. Ow. Yeah. We'll go through the pole and get your fingers too. <laughs> we'll give it our best shot here to see what we come up with. Now what I just did right there would take a long, long time by hand. Uh, unless you did have it in a treadle or something like that or even spin it. Y'all recall what we had when we stopped with the uh, paper. It's some black residue here, so I'm going to go ahead and run the, run the cloth on it until I'm not getting a lot of black residue. And I've got most of the, what's going to cause our shine not to be there. All right, we're getting pretty good. Alright, so let's see what we got. Yep. Alright. Look at that real close. Let's see if I can get this with the light on it. What we've got is we've got dark and light spots. It does look better, I will agree, than what it did look like. Uh, right here where we did have plating left, um, it polished it off, smoothed it off, and but if I rub my fingernail across it, I can start peeling off the plating that was already damaged. Uh, we haven't fixed anything. Uh, what we've done, right there's a good spot. What we've done is we have drugged some aluminum over, smeared it over what was there, and uh, well. Uh, I don't know how else to describe it. <laughs> we have made it look somewhat better. I agree. Uh, we have not fixed anything. Um, I'll continue this video with both of these hand wheels side by side. Alright, well, I guess it's time to finish this up. <clears throat> I have uh, uh, give them both uh, equal time, I would, th I would think. I'm going to say anyway. Uh, this here being the singer wheel that I used sandpaper, oil, and uh, the leather on to actually clean the metal up, take it back down below the surface or below the where it was bad, uh, um, and get rid of the pits, and make something of it again. This is the tinfoil. <laughs> um, I know it might sound like I'm confrontational sometimes uh, in responding to these posts that people ask questions. I'm not trying to be confrontational. Um, what I am trying to do is I believe when uh, someone takes the time to post a picture of a rusty hand wheel and says, what can I do to make this look better? I don't believe this is the result that they're really looking for. I believe they're wanting something more like the wheel should look. And uh, that's why maybe it sounds like I'm being confrontational, but I'm not. I just feel like that uh, they deserve uh, an answer. They deserve an answer to get a good result. Like I said, when I was doing this one on the lathe, this can be done on a treadle machine. On a hand crank machine or an electric machine as long as it's not friction drive if it's a friction drive machine where you're running against the surface of it you're going to have a little bit of a problem uh, as long as you're driving off of the belt um, and spinning this wheel if you'll do very simple what I says and what I what I described in the first part of the video you take the hundred grit take 36 grit it don't matter whatever it takes to cut the edge of this metal, to cut this down, uh, to get rid of the pits. Then you can go from there, work up to the uh, 600, the 1000, 1500 grit. Um, the polishing uh, wax stick, the polishing stick that I used, those are available at Ace Hardware, at Lowe's, um, places like that. <clears throat> A piece of leather, and you're set to go. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I just, I just don't. 
I don't see this. I don't. I don't see where I really accomplished anything with aluminum foil. Spending it on there, except to jerk my hands a couple times. This is a sharp. This when this foil start when this foil when this plating starts flaking off, it's sharp, and it will cut the crap out of you. So uh, you got to be careful there too if you're going to be rubbing aluminum foil on plating that's coming off. Um, so you know, y'all be the judge. But uh, personally, like I said, I think when somebody post a question and ask what can I do with my hand wheel I think they deserve an answer to get them a result more like this and uh, so unscrew your knob to where you're not spinning your machine and start treadling start hand cranking um, take and cover up your machine to where you're not slinging oil all over everything use a good honing oil or sewing machine oil that's fine with your sandpaper all it takes is something to keep the uh, finer paper from actually cutting as much as it is um, honing the metal. Uh, you always, uh, as a machinist, you'll learn that um, you roll in the surface of the metal, covering the pores, and uh, you get a real fine finish like this right here. I could have made this a lot finer um, than what I did. Uh, the reason I uh, didn't do no more <clears throat> than I did was just to keep this video short. And now I'm sitting here yapping already for four minutes uh, talking about it. But uh, um, like I said, y'all be the judge. If you want a result like this, go for the Coke and water or aluminum foil, all these all these little things. I made a remark on one of them that a uh, car dealer, a <laughs> used car dealer, uh, as, a, as a kid, as a teenager, I worked for car dealers. That was their way of hiding rust on bumpers to get rid of a car um, was to use uh, aluminum foil and water rub the crap out of that rusty spot on the bumper until you couldn't see it anymore um, I just I, I, I'm, I'm not for that I'm for going ahead and let's 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 do it right um, let's get a finish on the metal and uh, like I said uh, you, you ladies with treadle machines and hand cranks um, get your sandpaper uh, watch the first of the video again to where I describe the uh, order of grits to use and get you a piece of uh, old leather a uh, piece of suede anything soft leather and soak it with oil and and just start treadling um, watch a movie <laughs> that's all I know to tell you you can make your hand wheel look brand new and uh, as a purpose of my video like I said not being confrontational not trying to put anybody's ideas down argue with anybody uh, I, I don't want to do that I just I want to help you guys that are interested in getting a straight answer and uh, that's all I got uh, y'all have a good night thanks